What is going on YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that like, the sub, the bell, all that good stuff. You know, we cover music, news, sports, current events, and much more on this channel. But check it out. Got an update. Wanted to share with you guys with the people and get your take and opinion. So make sure to get up in them comments and let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Now, as we saw, you know, the other day, um, something I've been covering on the channel. I've got a couple of videos up regarding this situation. If you guys want to check them out, you can find them on the channel or let me know in the comments. I can share the links with you. But, um, you know, Drew Brees was asked during an interview, uh, you know, with the with the sports media, what his thoughts would be if, you know, the protests during the national anthem, you know, uh, kneeling during the national anthem went on again this year, you know, uh, to speak out against police brutality, you know, with everything that's going on in this country right now. And, um, you know, Drew Brees gave out his initial statement and, you know, uh, you know, to make a long story short, he felt it was disrespectful to the country and, you know, he would not support that protest. Well, since then, you know, we saw the people uh, in Louisiana who were protesting uh, you know, George Floyd's death and everything spoke out with some F Drew Brees chants, um, you know, and, and a lot of different teammates, um, you know, other NFL players, other sports analysts all spoke out and gave their different take. Uh, you know, a lot of people had a lot to say. And, um, you know, real quick, you guys, let me know your thoughts on the protest if you think you know, how you feel about it, because that's something I always, you know, I'm interested to know what everyone thinks about this when I cover this topic. As I've stated in other videos, I know veterans who support the, the, the protest and I know other veterans who who do find it, um, you know, um, disrespectful in their opinion. But I want to know what you guys think. So anyways, um, you know, since then, we saw Drew Brees issued a new statement apologizing excuse me, apologizing. And um, Donald Trump has now uh, chimed in with these tweets here. He said, I am a big fan of Drew Brees. I think he's truly one of the greatest quarterbacks, but he should not have taken back his original stance on honoring our magnificent American flag. Old glory is to be revered, cherished, and flown high. Then he also put up another uh, tweet in this thread and said, we should be standing up straight and tall, ideally with a salute or a hand on the heart. There are other things you can protest, but our great American flag, no kneeling in all caps with an exclamation point. So real quick, what's everyone's thoughts on what's Trump saying here? Um, you know, I'm very interested to know what you guys think. Trump saying Breeze should not have, you know, took back his statement and in, in, in you know, uh, back down, I guess, so to speak. What do you guys think? Did Drew Brees change his statement because he got a backlash, you know, or did Drew Brees change his statement because he heard what the people said, in your opinion, because he heard what the people said and he thought about it and thought, you know what, I'm not right here. I need to to listen to, to what uh, the people are saying. I need to learn more about this. I need to be more respectful or, you know, what, like, what's your thoughts? How, how do you think that went down? Was it just strictly because Drew Brees, you know, doesn't want this backlash, um, you know, doesn't want people upset with them? Or did Drew, is this, is this something Drew Brees feels in his heart after, you know, thinking about and, you know, going over everything? I, I want to know your guys' honest opinion. You know, a lot of people who were upset with Drew Brees that I uh, noticed, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I can't say what everyone's thinking, but something that I just noticed that I wanted to point out what a lot of people said was, um, you know, with uh, Drew Brees statement that, that upset them was it wasn't just, you know, that he, he found it disrespectful or, or anything like that. I saw a lot of people said, you know, who, who feel a different way still said, listen, Drew Brees is a man. He has a right to his own opinion. Um, you know, it is what it is. This is a free country, but what bothered a lot of people um, that I saw them saying, as I stated, this is just my own observation. They were mentioning how Drew Brees kept mentioning his, you know, grandfather's 
uh, his family and and you know uh, the way he felt in in his family you know and and I, and I saw a lot of people say Drew you know regardless of how you feel you made this about yourself this isn't you know a Drew Brees issue this is an issue across the country and um, you know it affects a lot of people not just you but um once again get in the comments let me know your guys thoughts um, did Drew Brees change it up because of the backlash. Or is this a genuine change? Now, Drew Brees, as I stated, already put out one apology and a statement, but he responded to Donald Trump here with this post. He said, through my ongoing conversations with friends, teammates and leaders in the black community, I realize this is not an issue about the American flag. It has never been. We can no longer use the flag to turn people away or distract them from the real issues that face our our black communities. We did this back in 2017 and regretfully, I brought it back with my comments this week. We must stop take, talking about the flag and shift our attention to the real issues of s systemic racial injustice, economic oppression, police brutality, and judicial and prison reform. We are at a critical juncture in our nation's history. If, if not now, then when? We as white community need to listen and learn from the pain and suffering of our black communities. We must acknowledge the problems, identify the solutions, and then put this into action. The black community cannot do it alone. This will require all of us. So, pretty in-depth statement there from Drew Brees and um you know it, it like I said do you think this is genuine from Drew Brees you know as I was asking you guys to share your take and opinion and you know for anyone new over here that's what this channel's all about is hearing from the people so never be shy you know sound off in them comments I always like to put it out there that on this platform I like it to be where we can talk debate uh, different topics. And if necessary, people can agree to disagree respectfully. You know, um, that's that's the only rule in the comments on this channel. Hey, just keep it respectful. But um, yes, I can agree to disagree. And I feel other people should be able to disagree to disagree as well. But reading this statement from Drew Brees seems to really sound like, you know, uh, Drew Brees really thought about this and feels like what he said was wrong and he was looking at this the wrong way and I don't know you know this this is a, a pretty in-depth statement um so let me know your guys thoughts um you know I've always heard of Drew Brees to be uh you know pretty beloved guy in the locker room in Louisiana you know when we saw a lot of people upset with Drew Brees the other day when these comments came out you know um there was a lot of talk going around about how Drew Brees is, um, you know, a, a pretty well-liked guy. And it, and it seemed like a lot of people, you know, felt disappointed. But we did see a couple uh, players say, listen, I always had my suspicions about Drew Brees. Um, so I don't know, guys, you know, just trying to cover everything here. But um, Drew Brees responds to Trump, you know, saying, hey, Trump, I didn't, I didn't just back down. I was wrong. So uh, let's talk about it, guys. Make sure to sub to the channel, hit the bell. As I stated, we cover music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more on this channel. We got daily content. I look forward to talking with you guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. I'm out of here. Peace.